Hey guys, let's get some cards of the day. Universal messages for the collective. May they resonate with anyone and everyone who sees this. Whenever you see this, truth be told, because this is a timeless message. So today I'm working with the Archer's Career Oracle deck, my newest creation. And I'm also going to be working with the Archer's Answers Oracle deck created by me as well. And if you're interested in either of these, the information on where you can go to get them will be down below in the description. I'm also gonna be working up. Oh, I'm also gonna be working with the uh, Native American Tarot and the Power Animal Oracle cards for today. So let's see what's going on. Starting off with the Tarot, I have my green drink, green smoothie programmed with Heart Chakra Healing. <clears throat> So let's see what's going on. Universal messages for the collective. May they resonate with anyone and everyone who sees this. Whenever you see this, truth be told. Oh, we have two already right here. So we have the stars and then we also have the Eight of Chalices, which is the Eight of Cups. So right now I'm getting the energy of needing to trust in your own power, understanding that the universe has your back and all is coming together in divine and perfect timing. Starting off with the stars. So this is, and a lot of you may want to do some sort of rituals or magic at night manifestation practices at night um, a lot of you may need to or may already be or needing to look into uh, more about your astrological chart like your astrology chart to understand what's going on with you on a personal basis um, some of you may also need to pay attention to what's going on within the collective energy of the universe astrology wise because it is influencing things here with everyone and it is going to impact you so as i say as above so below so paying attention to what's going on with astrology around the time that you are seeing this video what just passed what's going on right now what's coming up are there any retrogrades what are those retrogrades how do those re retrogrades impact us things like that but also in this um, image here. Who interesting. So she actually has an arrow right in her chest. She has an arrow in her chest on her left side on, on her heart. So if you have experienced some sort of heartache um, or disappointment, even if it's not whether it's related to uh, love life or not, this could be a heartache like maybe you didn't get the job you wanted or it could be a heartache in terms of like Somebody just blocked you and you don't understand why out of nowhere. Somebody ghosted you. Maybe it's a heartache. Um, maybe somebody transitioned and you're grieving the loss. You know what I mean? So, or maybe it is a breakup. Or maybe you just got into a fight or disagreement. Or maybe you just simply feel misunderstood and alone. The star's energy is saying, you know what? We, we, we understand the pain, but the universe has your back. And soon you will understand why you had to experience the heartbreak and soon and for some of you soon you will understand that the heartbreak the 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 pain is temporary <clears throat> this too shall pass just for example for some of you whoever needs to hear this if you are grieving a loss somebody has transitioned they're they are now um the most powerful they will have they will ever be because they are now within the great beyond they are now in source Yes, you're feeling the loss now, but as time goes on, not saying it will ever go away, but as time goes on, more and more, like you can still connect to them if you choose to, or if you, if for some of you, this is something you don't want to connect with, more and more as time goes on, you can heal from it, if that makes sense. And for others of you, this is letting you know that if something or someone was removed from your life and you didn't want them to go, like a relationship or a job you thought you wanted and you didn't get, or uh, somebody randomly unfriended you or something like that, you don't get it, why? You, in time, you will understand why. In time, you will understand why it was for the best that this person is no longer a part of your life. It's the universe protecting you. Rejection is the universe's protection. 
Eight of Chalices, Eight of Cups. <laughs> so I'm getting from this energy, this is an owl. So you may want to look up the spiritual symbolism for an owl. Owl medicine, owls do represent a lot of the time messengers of death death and rebirth transition now that is not always in the literal physical sense most likely for the majority of you this is death in the symbolic sense of something else coming to a close maybe it's a relationship that needed to end or what or, or a job that wasn't for you and that coming to a close or an end or maybe even it's a uh, ending of an old a habit that you had that was unhealthy to you or a way of thinking um a chapter that you need to close maybe you're moving relocating whatever it is um ve very rarely is this going to the owl um the owl is a messenger representing death and transition of something very rarely is it about physical death sometimes it can be so if if that is the case for you then um again just going back to the message of that nothing ever dies it just changes form and you know re death is essentially rebirth you know um for others of you this is mostly about letting you know that something a chapter something else symbolically is coming to a close and, it, and it's for the highest good that it is because i was also represent wisdom they also represent um knowledge they also represent intuitively seeing things from all different perspectives and angles owls heads can turn all the way around so they can see things they can see front back side to side so this is about seeing things from all angles all perspectives and trusting your intuition that you can see things that a lot of people may not see but if you're seeing this then likely you already can or are developing that skill that ability Eight of Chalices, Eight of Cups, also about, you know, taking space away from the things that are not serving you. Um, if something doesn't feel right, step back from it. If something is exhausting you, take a break from it. That kind of energy is coming through. Let's see what else is going on with the Power Animal Oracle. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, ooh, ah. So we have the dragonfly, dragonfly energy, dragonfly medicine, and it's the message of illusion. Illusions are being broken. Truth is being revealed. Clarity is being seen. For some of you, dreams are being broken, but it's for the highest good. Trust me when I say that because the dream was an illusion. For some of you, this is also about you knowing, like coming into really knowing and trusting who you are and no longer letting anybody else tell you who you are. If you have a strong sense of self, if you have a strong sense of self-awareness, nobody else can tell you who you are because you know who you are. Then they cannot define you. Um, dragonflies hover over water. So again, sitting and hovering with your emotions a little bit before acting and reacting. Um, seeing your emo like I, I get this energy of navigating through your emotions in a different way, doing some shadow work for a lot of you. The message from the bottom is you know who you really are. So again, if you are, some of you, this is also revisiting past pain, and my dog just coughed. So. Some of you are releasing energy that needs to be let go. I, I took that as a message that my dog coughed just then. I don't know if you guys heard it, but it, it was like a, like something coming out. So some of you are going to be revisiting past pain so that you can get rid of it, get it out of your body, get it out of your energy. Also, ego. Ego is the message of spirit, connecting with spirit. Ego is um, an indigenous culture, at least what I was always taught in my family. Eagles are so special because they fly so high. They, they are so close to creator. So they are messages, uh, messengers of the divine, messages, messengers of the creator, messengers with spirit. So whenever you're seeing this, whether it's the day of, the week of, the month of, or just in general, you are receiving divine messages from spirit. Trust it. Spirit is trying to send you messages and guidance along the way. So trust those intuitive feelings, trust those dreams, trust those, um, 
trust your card pools, <laughs> whatever it is. The message on the bottom is to trust in your higher self from the time that you're seeing this reading. Let's see what else is going on with the Archer's Career Oracle deck. October is going to be a big month. I don't know when you're going to see this video, whenever you see it, but I guess it resonates for anyone and everyone that October is going to be a big transitional month. A lot of change, a lot of epiphanies, a lot of realizations, a lot of spiritual growth. Not all of it's going to be easy. may that apply whenever you see this video for whatever october is approaching whenever it is i see the message of vibrational match and then on the bottom rest and relax so october is kind of going back to that self-care energy um and, and taking breaks from things um spirit is saying rest and relax because if something is a vibrational match for you, it will flow. It will flow to you. You it won't um it won't be so dramatic in, in certain cases. So rest and relax. October uh, not October. They keep wanting to talk about October. Well, maybe this will apply to October. <laughs> but also, whenever you're seeing this video, um, take some time to rest and relax because a vibrational match is being created for you. Now keep in mind that some of you are um if if what's being drawn to you, if you don't like what's being drawn to you, then somewhere in your vibration, it's in an alignment with that energy. So maybe it's a, a message to, again, reflect back on past pain. And it could be just a simple reminder that you've evolved beyond it. So there's no need to like entertain it anymore. But for others of you, this could be a sign that maybe there's something else that still needs to be worked on. But for the majority, I feel this is about resting and relax because what's a vibrational match for you that's good, that's in your highest good, that's going to come in divine timing. So don't even worry about it. Just rest and relax. Focus on your recovery. Um, focus on listening to your higher self and the messages that Spirit is trying to show you. The vibrational match for you that's in your highest good is going to come in divine timing. That's coming up as well. So let's look into the final messages with the Archer's Answers Oracle deck. We got two of them. Yes, soon and make magic. So it's time to apply some manifestation practices to make magic, to know your power. Um, Figure out what kind of rituals you want to try or that work best for you. Um, some of you may want to work with the phases of the moon in terms of rituals. Some of you may, again, may want to pay attention to what's going on with astrology to figure out when you want to make your magic and do rituals. I do magic at any time I feel the inspiration to do so. And then just the energies of what's going on as above, so below. That can enhance things, sure, but I just, I don't really follow timelines. I understand that certain periods of time may have more of an influence or an impact but i just do magic when i feel it but either way spirit is saying yes soon do it soon it's time to make the magic soon time to know your power soon time to do the ritual soon um i'm also hearing that the the worry that you fear is not very likely to happen the reason i say that is because i see not very likely on the bottom and then i heard the worry that you fear so the worry that you fear is not very likely so whoever needed to hear that um let that come through also if for some reason something that you've been worrying about does happen what i'm hearing is that What I'm hearing is that it was an unnecessary worry. So how I take that is to mean that it's you're making it a bigger deal in your head than what it actually is. You know what I mean? So whoever need, whoever resonates with that, whenever you do. It, again, this is a general reading. So take what resonates, release what doesn't. So hopefully you did enjoy this. Um, I know it had some tough spots, but you know that everything is in your highest good. <clears throat> At the end of the day, the messages are coming through. It's here to help you prepare is here to help you navigate through it and to make the choices that are best for you if this reading resonated with you and you choose to you could always tip by buying me a coffee the information is down below in the description or where you can go to do that i always appreciate it because it is always an exchange of energy <laughs> um if you choose to uh 
feel free to comment below how this reading resonated. Remember to subscribe, like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment and share, and I will talk to you guys another time. Bye!